Hey guys, uh, gonna do a video on constructing farm fences. So a farm fence is constructed with braces at the corners and at the gates. And so what's going on here? Uh, the, the fence itself is a woven wire fence. So we come in close, these are twisted together. There's no welds. And that's what you want. Uh, if you weld it, uh, expansion, contraction, uh, over time those welds are going to snap, a little tiny bit of rust on the weld, and it breaks. Uh, this woven wire is going to last until the wire itself actually rusts all the way through. Uh, so that, that fence is going to last for many decades. Um, your posts, uh, just a treated pine post, uh, and they are uh, about 14 feet apart works well for a, uh, for a woven wire fence. When you put this fence on, you pull it uh, with a tractor or some other implement, and, uh, and it's under a lot of tension. So it is trying to pull these posts down. So on the corners, you need braces to counter that pull. Of course, that keeps your fence nice and tight and, uh, and able to stand up to animals pushing on it and, and uh, makes it a much better fence to pull it tight. So your braces, what you, what you do, you put your two posts in like we have here and um, you can see I've got a brace wire running from here down to the floor to, to the, the ground on this side now obviously down at ground level that post can't move here if I were to pull on the top I could I could potentially pull the, the post over down here right at the ground uh, you're gonna have to pull awful hard to, to move that post so that wire is under tension and thereby holding the top of this post from being pulled in that direction. So the fence is trying to pull it that way but the that wire is transmitting the force down to the ground and not letting anything move. Uh, the way that wire is tensioned you you'll see when we build this uh, but you, you put the wire on and it's fairly loose and then you put a piece of metal, I use rebar, uh, this is just an old piece of a uh, ground rod, and you twist it. It's called a Spanish, wind Spanish windlass. Uh, you twist it until it's nice and tight, and then you hold it in place with a staple. So then this, uh, this horizontal piece, what it is doing is it's transmitting the same holding power that we have on the top of this post back to the actual corner. If you didn't have that there, this corner would want to pull in whichever direction the fence was tensioned. Uh, that post would stay put, but without the, the horizontal, uh, this post would not be solid. With the horizontal, that whole thing is really not going anywhere. Um, now this is a single uh, direction brace. Uh, you can put two wires, two tension wires. I've got one here. You could put another one that way, called an X brace. Uh, and that can take pull in both directions. Um, so sometimes people, when they have a real long run of fence, want to put a double brace, and that's what I've got here. So I've got the, the tension wire going to this post, and then there's another tension wire going to that post. So both of those posts are anchored to the ground. They're transmitting their anchoring power back to the previous post and back to the corner. And that is holding all the tension that is on that fence, which goes quite a distance. So, you know, that wire, as it gets hot, it gets longer and the tension goes down, but as it gets cold, it contracts and that fence will pull quite hard on those posts. So you've got to have them very well braced. So that's what we're going to be building here in just a minute.
So what I've got here is my corners laid out. That's the first corner. And then I've got my other three corners over there. I laid those out, diagonaled them, and squared them. Um, right here is going to be a gate. And there's going to be a brace here, a brace here, and then two braces on each corner in each direction. Uh, so I wanted to get this post in. The gate needs to be more exact than, than the other posts. So then I know exactly where that post needs to go. And then I will do the brace. The braces are going to be six and a half feet apart because the posts are six, actually seven feet long. Uh, that way my horizontal, uh, I'll be able to cut it off so that it fits right uh, in between the verticals. And then other spacings when there's no brace will be 14 feet.